10. Lost at Mesa Verde In June of 2013, 51-year-old Dale Stilling set out for a short hike at Mesa Verde National Park. He was eager to explore the biggest archaeological preserve in the United States of America. Mesa Verde is 52,485 acres, with over 5,000 archaeological sites within its barriers. There are ancient cliff dwellings here, old watchtowers built by people centuries before Europeans arrived, and petroglyphs that date back to the end of the Ice Age. Human habitation in the region goes all the way back to around 9500 BC. It was a big place for Dale to explore, especially considering three very important things. First, Dale's wife described him as directionally challenged. This means he would have gotten easily lost. Second of all, he had no water. And thirdly, it was a blindingly hot and sunny day and wouldn't have taken long before he became dehydrated and confused. Basically, it was an all-around terrible idea for him to go exploring by himself. Dale was seen near the Petroglyph Point Trail, and then he wasn't seen again for seven years. It wasn't until 2020 that his skeletal remains were found 4.2 miles, or 6.7 kilometers from where he was last seen alive. He had wandered into the desert, gotten lost, and passed out from heat. Then he had quite literally cooked to death as he lay disoriented and confused. 9. Death by Glacier In Italy, a giant chunk of alpine glacier broke away from the side of a mountain and fell onto the heads of a bunch of hikers. It happened in July of 2022. The glacier broke loose, snow and rock dislodged from the mountainside, and all that debris came slamming onto hikers who were moving up a popular trail near the peak. One second, they had been climbing. The next, they were dead. While hiking in itself isn't a dumb thing to do, hiking up an extraordinarily dangerous mountain during one of the hottest summers on record definitely is. This was the most obvious time for glaciers to break off the mountain, and scientists have already blamed the accident on rising temperatures. Nonetheless, a brave group of mountaineers tried to get to the top. So far, as of July 19th, 11 fatalities have been counted. Rescue teams believe a 12th person may have died in the catastrophe, but the death toll probably won't go any higher. As for the actual mountain that killed these courageous adventurers, it's called the Marmolada. It's over 10,800 feet, or 3,292 meters above sea level, considered the highest peak in all the Dolomites. But according to scientists, the warming climate in Italy is making the glaciers more unpredictable. Even climbing in the summer can lead to deadly consequences. 8. The Mexican Volcano In June of 2022, a woman in her early 20s disobeyed the rules by climbing onto a completely off-limits volcano in Mexico. Her wild and stupid plan was to scale the side of the Popocatépetl volcano which tourists are absolutely not allowed to do. Nobody is even allowed to touch this thing. But nonetheless, the woman and her climbing partner breached the barricade and began the climb. According to Mexico's Volunteer Mountain Rescue and Assistance Brigade, both climbers fell into a gully about 1,000 feet, 305 meters, shy from the crater at the top of the volcano. They had almost gotten to the top, 17,797 feet, 5,425 meters above sea level. But something went wrong, and it probably had to do with the fact that the volcano is active. This thing is constantly spewing out toxic fumes and ash, and climbing the side of it is like walking into a poison gas chamber. In fact, Popocatépetl Volcano is so dangerous that climbers have been prohibited from going within 7.5 miles, or 12 kilometers, of its peak since 1994. The victim, a 22-year-old local woman from the nearby town identified by the mayor, 
would have known the danger very well. Still, she risked it all and lost it all. Her climbing partner was successfully rescued, but the woman was beyond saving. 7. Alligators in Florida On Friday, July 15, 2022, an elderly woman fell into a pond in Florida and was eaten by a couple of alligators. It happened at the Boca Royale Golf and Country Club in Englewood. The woman was walking near the pond at the edge of the golf course, which was also near her home, when the tragedy occurred. Nobody knows exactly what happened. Maybe she leaned over to get a good look at the alligators, or perhaps she suffered some kind of medical emergency. An eyewitness said that the old woman was right beside the pond before she fell in, and then she was swarmed by the vicious reptiles. Immediately upon hitting the water, two alligators appeared at the surface and dragged the woman underneath with them. One of the alligators was a massive beast, at nearly 9 feet or 2.7 meters long, with the other a little smaller at just under 8 feet or 2.4 meters long. Both of the gators were removed from the pond after the incident, but the poor old woman never lived to see another day. By the time the police were able to pull her body out of the pond, she had already been dead for quite some time. She had been taking a leisurely stroll in her gated community, 1,000 acres of pristine golfing and nature, and she ended up as alligator food. 6. Mysterious Tavern Deaths in South Africa, 21 people died abruptly at a tavern in East London's Scenery Park Township. It happened on June 26, 2022, and nobody has any idea what happened. The teens were between the ages of 13 and 17. They'd all been hanging out and drinking alcohol in the tavern, when suddenly they dropped dead. When their bodies were found, they were lying strewn across tables and chairs, lying on the floor, and slumped over the bar. It was like a toxic bomb had gone off and killed everyone instantaneously. All these months later, the police are still trying to figure out what happened. It's become a huge mystery with only one real clue. Analysis of the bodies has confirmed that all 21 victims had the chemical methanol in their blood. Methanol, for those who don't know, is one of the most toxic forms of alcohol. Methanol is so volatile that it can be used as fuel and is typically used as an industrial solvent and pesticide. However, methanol can also be used to make extremely potent homemade alcohol, like moonshine. It looks like the tavern may have been serving some kind of illegally distilled booze, or someone had passed some of it around and everyone who drank it died. 5. Over the Railing a rising Houston DJ died in Texas on July 4, 2022. She died after tumbling off the edge of a high-rise apartment building and coming down hard on the pool deck. She was only 23 years old. Her name was Darion Lewis, although she called herself DJ D-Baby. She was hanging out with some friends on the 13th floor of the Camden Downtown Apartments and was highly intoxicated. It was early in the morning. Darion and all her friends had been drinking heavily, and the party was winding down. It was time to leave, but Darion was allegedly planning to drive home while drunk. According to a post from Darion's friend Nishia Jackson, who had been present the night of the party, Darion just wasn't in her right mind. She was trying to leave the apartment and drive home wasted, and when her friends blocked the door and wouldn't let her go, she became erratic. 13 floors above solid ground, Darion began messing around with the patio furniture. She climbed onto a patio chair, lost her balance, and tipped over the side of the railing. Darion went down hard and fast and landed on the pool deck on the ninth floor. She only fell four floors, but it was enough that she died instantly on impact. 4. Workout Collapse on June 4th, 2022, a man collapsed unexpectedly after a gym workout and died. His name was Sri Vishnu, a 27-year-old man from India. He had just completed his normal workout session when he passed out without any warning or probable cause. 
he wasn't drinking, he never smoked, and he didn't suffer from a single medical condition. All things considered, Sri Vishnu was an upstanding citizen with no bad habits. He'd been going to the gym steadily since he was 24 and never had any issues. We actually have no idea why he passed out and died. It didn't make any sense. According to his trainer, the only unusual thing that happened was that Sri Vishnu had eaten some bananas in between his workouts. He paused his weightlifting, munched down some bananas, and then kept on lifting weights. Then, at about 10.15 that evening, he finished working out and was getting ready to leave the sports club. He was talking with his trainer when suddenly his eyes rolled up in his head and he fell down dead. There was never any information released on his exact cause of death. It probably didn't have anything to do with the bananas and may have been more to do with his heart suddenly giving out. It was just one of those dumb freak accidents that could happen to anybody, at any gym, at any time. 3. Roller Coaster Nightmare The Cobra Roller Coaster is the most dangerous ride at the Tivoli Freeheaden Amusement Park in Aarhus, Denmark. When the roller coaster began operating in the park back in 2008, there was an accident almost immediately. The front part of the roller coaster broke away, leaving four people seriously injured and on the brink of death. They all survived, but it was a very close call. Despite killing nearly four people right after opening, the roller coaster continued to stay in operation. And in the summer of 2022, Another terrible tragedy took place. A teenage girl died when the ride came off the rails. The girl was only 14 years old and had been having a good time going from thrill ride to thrill ride. Then, from out of nowhere, the back part of the roller coaster came off its rails so that the part the girl was sitting in got jammed underneath the track. It was only the back two seats that got jammed up but that just so happened to be the seat the little girl was sitting in. This wouldn't have been so bad if the roller coaster was going slower. Unfortunately, the coaster is 82 feet, or 25 meters tall, and has a top speed of 44 miles per hour, or 71 kilometers per hour. When something going that fast comes to an abrupt halt, somebody gets hurt. This little girl didn't make it but the 13-year-old boy sitting beside her was rescued with minor injuries. 2. Deadly Duck Eggs A retired retail manager decided he was going to treat himself to something delicious. He picked up a few duck eggs, took them back home, fried them up, and had a delicious meal. He had purchased the eggs at a country show, and they seemed pretty legit to him. Sadly for the retired retail manager, Identified as Niptune Tavakoli, the duck eggs gave him salmonella poisoning and he died. According to the intensive care specialist who dealt with Niptune on the day of his death, it was one of the worst cases of salmonella he had ever seen. It's because Niptune had waited way too long to go to the hospital after getting sick. He purchased the eggs from a stall at a rural country show in North Lincolnshire on June 2, 2019. He didn't call an ambulance until five days later on June 7th because he had such severe diarrhea and vomiting. But what really killed him wasn't the duck eggs, but the incompetence of the ambulance crew. The paramedics didn't take him to the hospital and simply told him to get healthy. His wife Cheryl had to call an ambulance again on June 10th because she was pretty sure her husband had developed sepsis. His lips and nails had turned blue. This time, the ambulance crew finally agreed to take him to the hospital. But by then, the salmonella had already killed him. Parts of his body had turned black. He was in an extremely dire condition. And just shy of two months after he had originally eaten the eggs, he died in the hospital. 1. Swimming in Missouri A man from Missouri went swimming in Iowa became infected with a terrifying brain-eating amoeba and died. All he had wanted to do was go for a dip, but he ended up with his brain literally being consumed by a deadly infection. It's called the primary amoebic meningoencephalitis, and it was caused by the Nagliera fowleri amoeba, 
According to Missouri Department of Health officials, it's such a rare way to die that they refuse to release any real information about the particulars, out of respect for the family. All we know is that the health department became aware of the infection on July 6, 2022. We also know the unfortunate victim was probably swimming at the lake of three fires in Taylor County. The lake closed briefly, probably as a safety measure so that nobody else can get their brain eaten. Probably as a safety measure so that nobody else can get their brain eaten. If you're wondering just how at risk you are of contracting a similar sickness, it's not completely out of the question. The infection happens when fresh, warm water containing the amoeba goes up a person's nose. It then travels to the brain where it starts to eat the brain tissue. It's not contagious and it can't be contracted from swallowing lake water. It only happens if water shoots up your nose. And unfortunately, the fatality rate for those infected is over 97%, according to the CDC. Out of the 154 cases of this bizarre way to die reported in the US, only four people have survived. Would you rather fall into a volcano or tumble off a roller coaster? Let us know in the comments and thanks for watching. Remember to hit subscribe if you haven't yet, and we'll see you again for more awesome videos.